Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Silly face. Silly face. <laughs> we are at the Hogstown Medieval Festival <laughs> Fair. So let's go hang out. Yay! <laughs> Oh dear God. Here. 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 Right, that's a bit of a hint there. So, you may want to get a little closer, kind of, kind of make a semi-circle around it. I'm not saying <laughs> something's going to happen, but it is a stage. No high and all, right? No, no. What's that? All the world is in the world. Yeah, but that one's higher than the one you're on. I didn't think we were doing that anymore. Oh wait, hi, yo, hi, hi, hi. That's definitely what I meant. Hey, 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 be kind and check because they don't let us down from here. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't look on the side over there. There's no privy up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> oh, look, we've got a, a red-headed little girl over there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Do you folks suppose if she drinks ginger ale, does that make her accountable? No, <laughs> 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 yeah, they're <for> a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hogtown Medieval Fair! Woo! Oh, you're already a good audience. Excellent. My name is Alana Dale. I am Alana Dale's muse and your narrator for today. So, little background information for you. King Richard has left for the Crusades, leaving Prince John <laughs> Pratt <laughs> in charge of the while he's gone. Prince John has used the sheriff to tax and harass everyone into making himself rich. Heeding the call, in steps Robin Hood and his merry men. Fighting the sheriff, stealing from the rich, and giving to the poor. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. oh no, we gotta move. Uh -oh. Get him. Bad guys. Awesome. Those are ones that did it. We didn't do it. Boys, ladies, and the rest of you. <laughs> it was him. I present to you, Lord of Ireland, heir apparent to the throne of England, His Royal Highness, Prince John! Exactly, oh, we counted three, John! <laughs> <laughs> of the realm, my reckless brother, your beloved king, is dead. What? King Richard was a noble soul, and to give us more details about his tragic, timely passing is the dame. You're not dame guy. No, please don't let it be. No, but she has the details. Oh, my dearest Marion, do you believe in love at first sight? Or should I walk by again? Ah! The details, Guy, just the details. Right. His ship went down between England and France. It was glorious. What? Tragic. What? Tragic. Tragic. You hear me? Tragic. It's so sad. Oh. Her mommy's wishes. You will be holding a moment of silence for my dear departed brother. 
And that moment is over, Chair. My coronation. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But, but sire, we have no money for a coronation. They really didn't. Prince John had spent an obscene amount on a canopy slip and slide. Down with the king! Oh, <laughs> King Richard! Revolution! Daryl, like it says. You can pay a coin or you can lose your hands! Fight to the death! It's called a threat, you jackanapes! And a pointless threat at that. I think I have salvation on the point of your thought. So kind of you to give them options. Thank you, I cannot believe this well, my lady. I'd like to see you. Do you want to go? No, no, we discuss the merits of threats, taxes, and my new position of power due to Richard's kindly death. Somewhere less uh, public? Ooh, like a public house. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> I'll see you on the chessboard at noon! Guards! Let's go. Bye, peasants. Bye. Guess who? <laughs> oh, yeah. You, princess. You, princess. Please, please. Merry men. Woo! Merry men. 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 Merry not only that, he's just raised the taxes on all these people. Yeah! He fucked it all. What's he need more taxes for? He's planning an elaborate celebration for his coronation. That is ridiculous! Uh, a sorted All the merry men, calm down. All we need is a plan. And a genius plan. Quick, think he knows them. Uh, so you planning on going to an early show, were you? This is going to take a while. Ah! Oh, it might! <laughs> right, huh? That's brilliant. What, I was thirsty. Yes, celibacy can do that to a man. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I believe this will be a great plan. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. What exactly is it that you're planning? It's going to be a brilliant plan, fantastic plan. Do you trust me? No. Don't worry, it's gonna work. I never seek to disappoint you. You know what? This calls for a celebration. No! Oh! You know what happens when you sick? Indeed, Raymond and all the local dogs knew what happened when Robin sang. <laughs> Metal John still has tinnitus. What? <laughs> and so our story begins and continues at the chessboard at 12, 2, and 4. And now let me introduce someone who sings far better than we do. A man who only needs one name. Ladies, if you want to know the second, you have to buy him dinner. Army! <laughs> Sing along. See most of it. Yeah. Terrible news! You have to sing some of it. <laughs> Extra terrible news. I'm not telling you when you have to sing. <laughs> this should be fun for me. Uh, how many of you came here today because you want to see some of the fabulous acts we have at this site? There are jugglers. <laughs> We've made all the arrangements to bring you the entertainment that's historically accurate and fun. Historically accurate and fun. Ah. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. We'll try that again. How many of you came here maybe because you just don't, frankly, don't have enough weaponry? We have bases. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I'm it's because we've done all our research and we've given you the finest merchants and we've made all the arrangements to bring you the entertainment that's historically accurate and fun. It's totally accurate and fun. Oh, you learn so quickly. <laughs> so quickly. Well, how many of you came here because, frankly, you don't care about the shows, you don't care about the merchants, all you care about is drinking. <laughs> Uh, good news because we've really got middles and we've done all our research and to bring you the finest merchants and we made all the arrangements to bring you the entertainment that's historically accurate and fun. Historically accurate and fun. Uh, 
Now you're going to do that fast part with me. Just kidding. We did, however, in our endless researches to make an interesting festival, we did notice that the Renaissance did in fact contain several things that are incredibly unpleasant. And so we've gone ahead and removed those from the festival. We got rid of the diseases and the rats and mice and fleas and there will be no more beheadings or involuntary weddings. There we don't care for divorce. In fact, you can't sell your kid for horses. We got half a death. We got twice the soap. We got one less pope and women vote. We really got committed to bring you the news and fiddles and we channel the arrangements to bring you the entertainment that's historically accurate and fun. One more time. And now the song is done. Star throwing and knife throwing over there. They've got archery in the back there. Can ride a camel. These are man powered um, attractions. Hi. That's really cool. Hand waves, all that stuff. Oh, they have copper spiders. That's cool. It's Celtic inspired soups mixes, baking mixes, jams, and stuff. He's making press coins. 
by uh, like hand power and gravity. trees, leather makers, dragon tails. Is that not the best thing you've had in your mouth all day? <laughs> I'm hoping it is. I don't know. Wooden swords and shields and stuff. They're pretty neat. They're very pretty. The painting on them is gorgeous. You get them unpainted too. Ooh, it's an owl. <laughs> oh, yes. All of my rings are sterling silver. Those are poison rings. See, what you do is when you're making them drinks at night, you put the sleeping powder in. Eight o'clock on the dot every night. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty ingenious. <laughs> Already got the adult beverages. Way to go. Oh, for you, princess, we have these, uh, these professional nose pickers. Go on your finger here. Look, and I have one of the three in the back of your teeth. You know, for $15, you can your favorite color. You can also put poison inside for your teachers. <laughs> Still keep the poison in the M&M's next to each other. <laughs> Got leather worker right there. This guy does woodwork. They're like shoulder, similar to the banshees that Disney sells, but these are pretty cool. They're a lot cooler. Cats, and they've got birds and stuff. They're about to do a maypole dance. substantially more crowded. Well, there's a lot of people in uh, costume. Alright, if there's an event going on and you show up to it late, please don't be rude and step in front of people. So when I try, I'll try and edit as much of the live chessboard as I can. We got there really early and there was plenty of space. I set up my tripod and everything, no issue. First thing is this lady steps right in front of it and just stands right in front of the tripod. You can see my camera and everything set up. So I put the tripod away and I'm just gonna hold the camera and film with it. So she finally moves and the second she moves, somebody else steps right in her way. And then like, it, so that he could see everything, he would lean around people and stuff. And when he did, he would literally just lean right into my view, so. I got as much of the live action chess game as I could, but we'll uh, we'll see what turns out. But just don't be rude, like especially if you show up late to stuff. Stand in the back. That's just kind of like the sacrifice you have to make. You know, I 
I don't know. I don't know. I could have. We showed up early enough that I could have stood, stood right in front with my tripod and everything and blocked everybody's view, but I didn't because I was trying to be nice, to make sure everybody could see. So, just a word to the wise. I'm gonna do a little softer and put lens and put my jacket on. I used to fence in high school. It's one of my favorite sports. I swear it's a lot more active than this. Okay, well, I actually thought we were going to watch the people fence. It's about 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon. You just keep in mind that Gainesville is kind of like a big college town because the <laughs> University of Florida is here. Plus a lot of people come from outside, so that's why. This place gets a lot of people. So Ali picked up one of those shoulder animals that you can like make move and stuff. She picked up a purple cat. It uh, turns its head and shakes, nods its head. We're here to see Barely Balanced. If you've ever been to a Ren Fair and they're there, make sure you go see them. They're really funny. They do some pretty cool stuff. I wasn't worried about the bumpy. I was worried about getting everybody in focus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for us for the Renaissance Fair in Gainesville, uh, Florida, Appalachia. I want to say Appalachia. It's not. It's uh, Alachua County. Uh, it's out here at the Ala Ala Alachua County Fairgrounds in Gainesville, Florida, just right outside of Gainesville. So we uh, we had a blast. We always enjoy it every year. Um, I think it might be our last for a little while, just because. It's repetitive. It, yeah, it's gotten a little repetitive. There, you unlike other places that we visit, it's very hard or it's very easy to for it to become a repetitive notion. And it's yeah, you can see everything in less than an hour. Um, so, I mean, aside from the shows and stuff, so we come specifically for a couple shows that we really enjoy, and so we saw those, uh, saw another show that we, we enjoyed, uh, his name was Arnie, uh, and he's a musician, we enjoyed his songs and stuff, but we're headed out, kids picked up a few things with the allowance money they've, uh, saved up, Valley got that cat thing that you saw on my shoulder, Jordan got a little dragon, but we're tired, we're headed home. Uh, it's like an hour and a half drive home, so that's what we're doing now. So, hope you enjoyed this little trip with us. Till tomorrow. <laughs>